Hello, hello, everyone. It's Melissa Faust from stampwithmelissa.com here. Welcome to my Tuesday night live video. It is 5 p.m. Central Time on Tuesday, March 26th, 2024. I cannot believe we're at the end of March. <laughs> I know I say it every month, but like, wow, we're at the end of the month. And that just seems really bizarre to me. So um, welcome to everybody who's joining me live or if you are watching on the replay. This live video is streaming both to Facebook and YouTube at the same time, so you can watch on whichever platform you prefer. You can watch live on one and replay on the other or whatever you want. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, please leave a comment, say hello, let me know where you're watching from, and uh, make sure you you leave a comment if you're watching the replay too, because I do go back and look at those. Um, and last week I made a comment, or a spoken comment, um, about... Um, you guys leaving comments. <laughs> I made a comment about you leaving comments and a whole bunch of you were like, oh, I watch you every week, but I've never commented. So that was really fun to see because I got to say hi to a whole bunch of people I never knew watched. So um, welcome everyone. Um, I know somebody said hi from snowy Winnipeg. Yeah, it's snowy here too. I'm going to have to look at, this is really sad. I'm going to look at a map right now to know exactly where Winnipeg is. And I, oh, low battery on my phone. At least it's not the one filming. <laughs> Um, oh, okay. So you're like right above me then. Who said that? Uh, Wendy, you're like right above, right above, not Florida, California. Oh, from Southern Florida. Oh, funny. Um, <laughs> your chats are not showing. Oh, well, Alicia, I see your chats. So you're, you're good here. But, um, Facebook has been doing that to me lately too. When I watch on my tablet, when I watch on my iPad, I have not been getting comments refreshed, but anyway, so Winnipeg is like, you know, right above Minnesota. Yeah. We're getting like pummeled with snow. I don't know my Canadian geography. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have some Canadian demo friends and they're like, oh, I live here. Uh, one of them's moving and she's like, oh, I'm moving to here. And I'm like, and she's like, well, it's a 16 hour drive from where I currently live. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> um, okay. A couple of you said you can't see any, um, chats either. Yeah. I think it's a Facebook thing. I'm going to be honest with you because, uh, yeah. Wendy says she's right above me. Yes, you are. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you about not seeing chats. I can see your chat, Shannon. Um, but I also don't, uh, yes, I am just starting and you caught me. Um, I don't, uh, this streams to Facebook, but I'm not like natively in Facebook doing the live. So I do see the comments. Does that make sense? I know it is. It is crazy. Um, so my mom can see him. I don't know. It's, it's just, yeah. Sometimes it really depends also like, um, there's a video that I watch every Tuesday and, um, last week I couldn't see any comments live while they were happening. And then today it was fine. So I don't know. <laughs> It's just Facebook. Um, so anyway, you're in a stamping slump. I'm sorry to hear that. I have definitely gone through that before. And you know what? When I went through it, um, I just cased a lot. So you are welcome to case me. Whatever you want. Go find stuff on the internet. Case it. Just keep creating until you, um, you know. And my biggest thing is even if you, um, even if you don't like the card you made, somebody else will. So I never, ever, ever throw away my cards or like start a project. And I'm like, nope. No, that's just, it's just that. So, <laughs> um, okay. So Lori said she couldn't see comments last week, but she can today. So yeah, it's just, you and I were in the same boat, Lori. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Okay. So let's get started. So it is Tuesday, March 26th, 2024. Um, if you are watching this today or tomorrow, like live real time, 2024, watching this today or tomorrow, um, I wanted to let you know that the Taco Fiesta mystery craft box registration closes tomorrow. I am just going to be totally candid with you. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to have to close it. Um, early. I have the most people in this mystery craft box than I ever have before in a mystery craft box. Um, and so it's really dependent. Like there's a, one of the pillow gifts and I'm, I can't, I can't say too much cause it's a surprise, but one of the pillow gifts comes in a certain number, like 24. And so like, you know, I don't want to have to order another multiple of 24. Do you know what I mean? You following? So if you are interested in registering for the mystery craft box, make sure you do that. Like maybe tonight, even, um, just in case I do have to close that early, I would hate for you to miss out if you're planning to register. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I'll give my brief, this is my elevator pitch. Okay. <laughs> so mystery craft box, I've been doing them for a couple of years now. And basically 
if you've done like a stamp camp for me, it's very similar. However, you don't get to know anything except you know the name, Taco Fiesta. And you know the stamps that we use, Taco Fiesta. Um, you do get to make 10 projects um, to each of five different designs and an 11th bonus project, which is really, really super cool. You're going to seriously love it. You are going to want to make 155,000 more of them. Um, <laughs> Uh, so anyway, you're going to love it. You get gifts, you get lots of fun things included, but what you don't get to see is you don't get to see sneak peeks ahead of time. I promise that we do have all the projects done. They've been done for a few weeks. We have all the pillow gifts ready. All of that is ready to go. Um, I should say the, the, the prototypes are like mine. So I partnered with my friend Heidi Collins on it. So I created a set of my stuff for me and a set for her. She did the same, created a set for her and a set for me. So um, registration closes tomorrow or when it fills. And at that point, um, then I will order all the stuff from Stampin' Up. And, uh, oh, that's a great question. Margaret said price. Well, I, I, why do I always forget that? <laughs> it is $63. So it does include all 11 of those uh, project kits. It includes the gifts. It includes about $34 in Stampin' Up! product. Like a, a, the goodie bag is valued at about there. You don't get to know what's in the goodie bag till you open it. Um, and then the fun thing about it is even when, you know, I like to share behind the scenes as I cut kits and all that. I don't do any of that um, until the official reveal day. So the reveal day for the Taco Fiesta Mystery Craft Box is on April 20th, Saturday, April 20th. And at that point, I will share the behind the scenes and you'll also kind of get to see what the projects look like. So that being said, if you go to my blog, um, stampwithmelissa.com, one L, two S's, uh, if you go there and you search Mystery Craft Box, the last one I did was for the Be Mine Suite. And you can see what that one looked like and, you know, it's not the exact same, but it's very similar. Oh, Alicia said, I'm going to highlight that comment. I think if I click on it, it highlights. <laughs> she said, mystery box is her favorite. Yeah, I just love it. So, um, yeah, it's just, it's so much fun. It's one of my favorite things, too. I think club and mystery boxes are, like, my favorites. Um, so you, you don't want to miss out. And we won't do, I don't know when we'll do another one. We'll probably do one in the summer, but I'm I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, Joan says she's happy for snow. I know Joan lives close to me, like maybe, I don't know, 20 miles or so. Um, yeah, she said we've had no snow. We're getting it all now. Yeah, we sure are. <laughs> so I had to go to the post office today. Usually I go on my lunch break on Tuesdays and I couldn't do that because it was snowing. So I had to like go at like two o'clock. I was like, all right, late lunch break. <laughs> um, anyway. So thank you so much, everyone, for sharing, too. And I will add. So if you need the link for the Mystery Craft Box, you can comment. Um, it's kind of funny. On YouTube, you can comment, but I can't I can't share the link publicly because you can add on the stamp set. And I don't want, I, I follow Stampin' Up's rules. Um, so I can't share the link publicly. But if you are on my email newsletter, you got it. Um, the last time I sent it out was last night. No, actually, I sent it this morning in, in the weekly newsletter. Um, but if you need it, you can comment and I can connect with you to get that, okay? If you're on Facebook, I can um, reply to your comment, like with a message. On YouTube, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll get you registered. <laughs> all righty. Yeah, we have had more snow in the last six days than we have had all winter. It's because I came home from Texas and it was hot there. Um. Anyway, all right, let's go ahead. We're going to start. We're going to get into stamping because you may have noticed we're doing things a little bit different. If you are a uh, regular around here, you may notice we're doing things different. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Melissa. Um, and you're going to be like, great, that sounds awesome. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So if you have your mini catalog, you can open to page 58 and check out this beautiful beach day bundle. Um, look at this amazing set of dies. I know mine kind of look like a mess. They're overlapping on each other because when I get dies from Stampin' Up, I'm like, oh, I can put them on my magnetic sheet. Exactly how they had them packaged, right? Yeah, it never happens. And then I'm like, uh, how do I get these to fit in here? So I think I did a pretty okay job, but um, you can see like there's some gaps and then there's some overlap. So who knows? Um, anyway, <laughs> oh, thanks for watching, Holly. I'm excited. It's your first time. Um, so in today's cards, we are going to use every single stamp. You know, that's always my goal when I create is I try to use every stamp and almost every, if not every die or punch or whatever. Um, and you know what? I think we don't use all of the dies, but you could. 
So yeah. Um, so anyway, so we are going to play with the beach day bundle today and I'm super excited. This one is carrying over into the new annual catalog, um, which is awesome. I can't wait for you guys to see those. Um, and we are going to do things a little different because usually in my live videos on Tuesdays, we make three cards. Well, today we're going to make four. So we have one extra card to make, but let me show you the four cards we're going to make today, all using this beautiful beach day bundle. Oh my gosh, I'm not used to having four here. This one can go at the bottom. <laughs> How do I fit them all? <laughs> all right, so we are going to make these four cards together. I am going to show you how to make the cards. Um, and then just a, a couple of things before we get started. So um, I like to offer every week or almost every week, um, a I call it free with purchase or I call it my class to go, but it's a free with purchase gift from me. So um, I know that sounds a little silly, free with purchase. Hmm, that's not free, is it? Um, well, here's why you get the class kit for free when you place an order in my online store. So you can order whatever you want from my online store and I will send you this class kit for free. So here's how you get that. I'm going to change up my little banner at the bottom here. So if you place an order of $40 before tax and shipping amounts in my online store through this Friday, March 29th, end of day, you will get the supplies to make one of each of these cards. Okay. So you'll have supplies to make all four of these. Um, and if your order goes over $50, you are going to get a full package of the cork rounds and, um, I just have to tell you that I have heard the word cork round so many times in this last week. And um, I, I just keep thinking of pork rounds or pork, you know, like anyway, <laughs> sorry to put that image in your head, but I'm like, I don't like the name cork round. <laughs> These cork dot cork boards, we'll call them cork boards. <laughs> mini cork boards. Anyway, you'll get a full package of these for me as an extra gift as well. So that's a gift from me. I will um, ship everything out next Tuesday, April 2nd. So that will come separately from your order from Stampin' Up. But if there's anything I use tonight that you don't have, you could add that, that to your order. You could, if you have everything, which you might, if you have everything, you can stock up on card stocks, retiring ink colors, envelopes, adhesives, whatever's on your wish list. Because let's be honest, we all have a long wish list, don't we? Um, so we are going to make these together. Um, one of the other things you get if you order the class is you get a PDF that has all of the details, including measurements, supplies, instructions, um, and pictures. So uh, you you heard pork rinds. Exactly. That's what I think of. <laughs> So uh, anyway, um, yes, better late than never. Don't even worry about it. You know, what's funny, Renee, is it comes in. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. And then it says hands yellow, heart red. <laughs> so I'm guessing those are emojis and they came through on my screen. All funny because, yeah, <laughs> I wonder if this phone. Nope, that phone didn't come through. Anyway, um, I just wonder because the phone that films my face is very old. And so sometimes I'm like, hmm, I think there's some new emojis you're using there. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so I forgot what I was saying, but you get the gist. So, um, oh, you get the PDF. That's what I was talking about. You get the PDF so you can make more. Um, so I'm not going to give you measurements during the live. That is part of that freebie when you order. So, um, or if you're on my team, the Incredible Crafters, they get my PDFs for free every week as well. So, okay. So let's go ahead. We're going to start with this card now. Um, nobody's allowed to yell at me, but I call this one the Barbie card. <laughs> <laughs> so this card kit comes with um, a thick basic white card base. You'll get a piece of the delightfully eclectic designer series paper. This is that big like 48 sheet pack, that mega pack. Um, and I'm going to try to give you a bubble bath piece. I, I should say I will give you a bubble bath piece, but it might be different. So this one has the like, you know, the multicolored square things. And this one has the stripes, but anyway, bubble bath. Um, you'll have a piece of basic white that is embossed for you using the painted texture embossing folder. You'll have a piece of, this is um, in pool party. This is one of our perennial postage dies that I cut in half. So you'll have that piece for some layering. And then you're going to have lots of pieces here to stamp and die cut. So you'll have melon mambo, lemon lolly, and coastal cabana to stamp and die cut some surfboards. You're going to have some crumb cake. You can see I already die cut out my two little palm tree trunks. Um, so those are die cut. And then we're going to use the rest for a sentiment. And then you'll also have some parakeet party. We had to do a farewell to parakeet party because it is retiring uh, to die cut out some palm tree leaves. So there are two different leaves in the die set. You can see them right here. Um, and whoops, 
if I put it in frame, you could see them right here. <laughs> and I die cut out two of each of those. And then you're also going to get, you guys, I'm going to butcher this. Uh, so nobody yell at me in the comments. This pool party, mm -mm, I'm going to forget the name. I'm going to say it wrong because whenever I'm on the spot, I cannot think of how you actually say it. Is it it's the G-R-O-S grain. Grow grain? I don't know. I maybe just said that wrong. <laughs> you're allowed to laugh at me, but you're not allowed to make mean comments. <laughs> um, so anyway, <laughs> you're going to get some of that ribbon too, the pool party ribbon. Um, I can never say it right on the spot, but anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with making this card. So we're going to start by stamping, and I'm putting these in order of lightest to darkest. Um, you know, the funniest thing is that like, you're probably like yelling at your thing, like it's pronounced whatever. And I can't hear you. So <laughs> I said it correctly. Yes. <laughs> Grow green. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I remember I did an unboxing video a couple of years ago and I think I said grass grain and people were like, are you kidding me? <laughs> and I was like, sorry. <laughs> All right. We are going to stamp some surfboards. So we've got lemon lolly ink. And we're going to stamp that on our lemon lolly. So we are just matching ink colors with um, ink colors with our cardstock. So you're going to need your chamois. So because we're going to, you know, we're going to use some stamps a couple of times. So then we've got Coastal Cabana. And um, I used Coastal Cabana a couple weeks ago. And I was like, this is actually a really nice color. Why don't I use it more? So here we are. We're using it more. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Um, okay, so let's see. Now I have to remember where all these colors go in my um, ink pad holder too. Um, okay, so then we clean it one more time and then we're gonna stamp it in Melon Mambo. And these these three colors are really fun. So this one was, um, if you didn't know, I have a Facebook group and we do a color challenge, creating color challenge every Monday in there and so this card was or i'm sorry yeah this card was the inspiration for this week's colors um and we have a lot we've got bubble bath we've got pool party we've got parakeet party so pool party parakeet party lemon lolly coastal cabana and melon mambo we had a big week for color challenges but the nice thing is is you don't have to use all the colors so <laughs> um but someone did they used all the colors and their card turned out really nice so um okay so then i've got happy birthday here that i'm inking up in early espresso ink onto that crumb cake scrap there we can close up early espresso and then let's go ahead and die cut out our surfboards so i am going to grab my post-it note tape Oh, there we go. And unfortunately, we only have one surfboard. So you're going to watch me do this three times. <laughs> all right. So we're going to get that all stuck down. Grab my stamp and cut and emboss machine here. Probably could have grabbed my mini for the for today's projects, but that's okay. And we'll just die cut these three surfboards. And then we've got some fussy cutting. Can you believe it? We're die cutting and fussy cutting on one card. Um, Joan says she's not a big beach fan. However, many of her friends love the beach. Yeah, you know what's really interesting? Um, I've never in my life gone on a beach vacation. And I'm going to Mexico next month. And I'm really excited. But, you know, this, sound, this is going to sound really sad. The resort we're going to in Mexico is co called Hotel Ishkaret. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's X-C-A-R-E-T. And... Um, they have like zip lining and ATV riding and like fun things like that. And I'm really excited to do the not laying by the pool things. <laughs> um, I have never been like a loungy vacation type of person. I've always been like a on the go vacation type of person. So um, yeah, I'm excited to go on a beach vacation and not lay at the beach. Because apparently also there's like very limited access to the ocean. So we do have a lot of pools at the resort, but there's... Um, I, I will probably see the ocean, but my understanding is we can't really like lay by the ocean. So anyway, so let's go ahead. Hey, Jude's, um, you called your college roommate Gidget. Oh, in SoCal. Oh, that's awesome. You spend so much time on the beach, says your dermatologist. Yikes. <laughs> um, Alicia loves the beach. I know. So we do have beaches in Minnesota, but they're usually attached to well, you know, I should say they're pretty much always attached to lakes, but sometimes we have them on rivers or whatever. Like we don't have the ocean here, obviously, but we do have beaches. So that's nice. Um, and then we have, of course, like some man-made 
you know, what are they called? Like holding ponds or whatever that are beaches. So the one I grew up to or grew, the one that I went to growing up was like a, I don't know. I don't want to call it a holding pond because that sounds like gross. <laughs> but basically it just, you know, it was just a beach. It was at a park reserve. It was, yeah, it was like a man-made beach for kids. So anyway, and then they're always packed because we can only go to them in the summer. So then whenever you're like, oh, it's Friday, let's get off early and go to the beach. And, well, it's packed. So you don't really want to go to the beach. <laughs> um, hi, Lene. Happy Easter. Um, oh, Judy said Judy's going to Mexico too. She said she's going to lay around somewhere. I'm going to try. I'm, I'm going to purposefully try to have one day at the resort where I try to force myself to not do anything. So Judy, since you're going to be there, you can try to hold me accountable. Man-made beach. Yeah. Um, you hope I go snorkeling. I don't know if that's even a, I don't know. I'll have to see if that's something we can do there. Maybe Judy knows. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so, all right. So I just glued our DSP down onto the card front using my seal and then burnished that with my bone folder. And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere my pool party die cut piece to my um, textured, my embossed basic white layer here. And I'm just butting it up against one of the edges, one of the long edges. It doesn't matter which one because this embossing folder is not directional. And then we're going to grab some dimensionals to stick on the back. Oh, stick, sticky stick. Um, snorkeling is an option. Okay. Well, here's my only other thing is that I don't like big bodies of water. And so we'll see. <laughs> and so, yeah, I'm not interested in swimming in the underground caves, but I'll go on the zip lines. Um, where do you put the code in when you order? That is a great option. So um, Shannon, if you click the link that I put in the description, it will already have it tied there. Otherwise, when you go to checkout, it's going to say host code. Um, you're new to me in card making. Um, but Shannon, if you don't find it, go ahead and reach out to me and I will help you out with that. Okay. Uh, so, but if you click the link that's in the description of this video, it will take you right there with the, um, with the links already or with the code already in there. So, um, yes, zip lining. I'm excited about Judy. I'll zip line. <laughs> All right. I've gone zip lining before. It's fun. Just in Minnesota. So nothing fancy, but okay. So we've got all these palm tree leaves here. So I am just going to take a couple of them, maybe these ones. So there's like the, ugh, this is really hard to describe, right? I call these ones the T's. And then this one is like a T, but it swoops out. <laughs> so the ones that swoop out, no, I'm sorry. The, the T's I'm going to flip over if I can pick them up and I'm just going to put a little bit of seal in the center right here in the back. Okay. And then I'm just going to lay these down onto the T's that swoop, right? Okay. Just like that. Then I'm going to flip these over. So they're on, you know, laying on their stomachs. The palm trees are laying on their stomachs and add some more seal. And then I'm going to take these branches. Nope, that's not the word. The tree trunks. Oh, and get it stuck to my finger. Um, <laughs> and stick those down here. And then we'll just add a little bit more seal. Just, you know, if you are a liquid glue person, go to town on your tree branch, aka tree trunk. Um, but I'm just going to add seal because I am a seal person. So I'm just going to add some, but I'm using my silicone mat here uh, because the adhesive won't stick to it. Shannon, you love zip lining. Yes. Oh, you went in Hawaii. That would be really fun. I do not mind zip lining. So when I was in Houston a few weeks ago, there was a guy um, sticking these down onto my card now. Um, there was a guy wearing a rash guard um, of one of the parks. So at Hotel Ishkaret, they have like eight different like they're not amusement parks, but they're parks. And one of them is called Explore. And he was wearing an Explore rash guard. And I yelled to him. I said, I'm going there. And he was like the zip line. He goes, I thought it was one. I said, isn't it like seven? And he goes, yeah, never again. <laughs> so I'm excited to see what that's all about. Um, <laughs> uh, so I am. Yes. Yeah. Debbie makes a good point. Snorkeling is on the water surface. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, you guys love the beach. I love it. OK, I don't think I missed any questions. So don't do parasailing. I would parasail. I don't think that's an option where we're going, but I would. I'd parasail. 
<laughs> I know there's too many accidents, but you know what? I'm okay. Which is funny because I'm sitting here like, I don't know if I'll snorkel, which is on the ground. And then I'm like, I'd go in the air. <laughs> I'm not afraid of heights though. So, all right. So I added some seal to the back of our surfboards and then we're just going to go ahead and layer them down. So I'm going to start with the lemon lolly one. Then I'm going to add Coastal Cabana. And these are all with seal here. And then I'm going to add Melon Mambo. And you can kind of just have them. I kind of wanted them to look like they're tipping a little bit. Um, oh, you enjoyed paragliding. That sounds fun too. Uh, and then we've got our happy birthday. Now, this is like the stuff I have going on here is not up on dimensionals. However, it is thick because there are a couple of layers. And so I found when I did my first card here, I don't know how well you can see it with the light. All right, not very well. But my birthday kind of sticks up a little because I put dimensionals on both. Well, when I remade the card here, this is the one I did in my reel. I did not put a dimensional on birthday and it actually lays more flat like I would want it to. So I am only going to add a dimensional on the happy side, okay? And you can just kind of play with it and see, but I just found for me, because there's so many layers already happening there, um, this worked the best. So I'm just, I added a little bit of seal on the birthday side because the dimensionals are thicker, but they're not like super duper thick. Yeah. I like that a lot. So it just kind of like naturally lays across there. So, um, oh, Kathleen, you went parasailing for the first time at age 70. That is awesome. That is super awesome. Good for you. Um, all right. Just going to tie a little bow here. See how well I can do it. Um, you ziplined in the Dominican and had about seven and it was incredible. I know it sounds awesome. So one of my coworkers went to Tulum, Mexico, um, a few years ago and she said, look at that. I tied a really nice bow. That's like probably the most impressive bow I've ever tied in my life. Um, <laughs> um so anyway, one of my coworkers said that she got stuck in the middle of a zip line. Um, and she's about the same, same kind of body build as I am same, you know, about height and weight. And she got stuck in the middle. So I'm a little bit like, Ooh, that might happen, but that's okay. Um, yes, a hot air balloon ride. That is something I want to do too. Uh, oh, you did it in Indiana, but want to go exciting. Are you saying Indiana is not exciting? <laughs> um, does anyone know if you can surf in any of the great lakes, like regular surfing? I would say probably not, but I don't know. I don't know. That's a good that's a good question. You get stuck on the slides. You're funny. You're funny. All right. So let's add some cork rounds or pork rinds, whatever you want to say. Um, <laughs> I'm going to add one big one here and then we're going to take a little one and put that right there. And I just love these. I don't know why, but I just thought beach when I thought of the embellishment for this week. And I thought, oh, those would be really beachy. I, I would really like that. So that is our first card. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Let's go on to card number two. Now, this one features lots of die cuts, and I did do die cutting ahead of time, so you don't have to watch me do all of that. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at this card. Okay, so you can see all my pieces. Make sure nothing's stuck in the envelope still. So this one, we've got a thick basic white card base. You're going to have a basic white layer. Okay, you're going to have a pool party layer that we're going to stamp on. And then we've got lots of pieces here. So you're going to have some crumb cake to die cut out your um, sand. Okay. So that's just, I just used this curvy, the flat curvy one. And then I kept both sides of it. Okay. So that's just one die. We're going to stamp on those two. So I'm going to scooch them off to the side. You're going to have some coastal cabana to die cut out your waves. So this one, this um, die is a little bit different. So I wanted to show you. So if you have a strip of cardstock that's like this, whoa, sorry. <laughs> You you use this die, but you'll notice only one of the sides is kind of, I'm going to call it flatter side, just, you know, just because this is the one that's going to cut. So what I did is I lined this up, okay, like this. You can see that. And it cut along the top edge, but it doesn't cut all the way through with these little detailed pieces. So you're going to want to take the flat edge and put it up higher on your cardstock so that when it die cuts out, you have all this stuff below. The stuff down here at the bottom is going to get covered, but I need that to adhere it. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Okay. You're going to have some Calypso coral to die cut out your little shack here. I call it a shack. It's a lookout tower. According to the Stampin' Up! website, it's the lookout tower. <laughs> You're going to have some more Coastal Cabana to die cut out three pieces of the grass slash seaweed, whatever you want to call it. 
you know, the, I think it's grass. Like you, you can just picture it. Right. Um, and then you'll have some petal pink to die cut out these two, your little lifesaver and your um, ramp. And then you'll have some lemon lolly to die cut out a flag. So Shannon asked if you lifeguard station. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Good way to phrase it too, instead of a shack. Um, Shannon asked if you purchase the stamp sets and the dies separately. So you can Shannon, I'm going to show you this in the catalog here. Um, you can, but actually what you can do with this set is you can purchase them together and save 10%. So if you have a catalog, and I don't know if you have a catalog or not, but you can view it online if you don't. Um, or just go to the Stampin' Up! website and type in Beach Day. Okay, so you can see here you've got the stamp set featured here, which is $20. Then down here it says 10% bundled savings, which is the whole bundle. So it'll show you here it's got the stamp set and the dies, which is $48.50, which is at 10% off from if you bought the stamp set and the dies separately, okay? But it does also have the die section over here if you were just interested in one. So I hope that helps. Um, but that's a great question. One I always forget to talk about because it's one of those things where like once you know it, you just forget that you learned it at some point. Do you know what I mean? You don't have a catalog. Okay, Shannon, send me an email after the live, Melissa at stampwithmelissa.com. Send me an email and I will send you a PDF to the catalog um, and get you connected with a catalog to a physical one if you would like. Okay, all righty. So let's go ahead. We're going to stamp. So I'm going to start with this little you know, collection of sand and shells and whatever. Um, <laughs> and my crumb cake ink pad. And we are going to just stamp these onto our crumb cake die cut pieces here. Now I did want to do this after it was die cut uh, because if you stamped this before, you might have some upside down. Not that the stamp really can go upside down, but um, you know, you might just want it to look, look consistent all going the same direction. And we're just going to stamp a couple of those on to our sand there. Then we can close up our crumb cake ink pad. And I'm going to scoot those off to the side. Okay. And then I've got my pool party ink. And we are going to grab early espresso. And the sentiment that says, wishing you a beautiful day. I love the font in this bundle so much. I think it's so pretty. I love when they mix like the cursive with the standard. I think it's just pretty. All right, and we do have some more stamping to do, but we're gonna do it after we adhere some stuff. Um, yes, yes, please. Okay, so yes, yeah, send me an email and we'll connect after this. Okay, so I am going to cut this out. Can you believe more fussy cutting? <laughs> uh oh, don't worry, I'm just cutting. I don't know what happened there. Jeez Louise, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so we are just cutting this one straight. You can use your trimmer for this too. We're going to pretend like that looks really beautiful. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then this one here. So we've got wishing you a, uh, and then I've got beautiful day. And I'm just going to cursive cut around beautiful. And then we'll straight cut day and up and this way. And cursive to focus when I do this. Otherwise I'm going to chop off a letter. <laughs> okay. I think that looks good. All right. So we've got all these pieces. Okay. And then we're going to start adhering. Are you ready for this? Um, is there grass on your beaches? Yes. <laughs> um, oh, Shannon, that's really exciting. Yeah. We'll talk about that too, because that's definitely the best best bang for your buck for sure. Oh, I don't know why I pulled in my scrap, my messy scrap paper. I need my adhesive, my silicone map. Okay. So we've got this. So yeah, if you have a big wish list, I would definitely recommend just getting the starter kit because then you can get it as a, at a discount instead. Okay. So I'm going to adhere. I put a strip there on the back right? That's what I wanted this bottom piece for. And we're just going to go ahead and put this on the card. Now I am purposefully having it hang off the edges. Okay. So let me scooch this up so you can see it better. And I'm going to go mm, maybe halfway from the top. Okay. This top might be, might be right in the middle there. And we're going to stick that down. Okay. And then we're going to add some adhesive on the back of our crumb cake pieces. Oh, I'm out of seal. I knew that would happen. <laughs> um, oh, thanks, Judy. 
um, yeah, I think, I mean, it's an, it's a no brainer. So I'm glad that you're already saying, Oh, I'm thinking about that because that's always the hardest part is knowing if you want to do that or not. Um, but yeah, it's definitely worth it. So, okay. So new seal. Good thing I was prepared, right? Okay. So anyway, add some seal to the crumb cake piece and then we're going to layer this. Now I have cut the crumb cake and the coastal cabana. You don't like the water, but you like this card. I love it. <laughs> um, we, I have cut them to be the same length. So I am just going to butt up the edges and we're just going to create a cute little scene here. And same thing, last piece of crumb cake, butt up the edge and stick that one down. Okay. So we've got a beautiful little scene here. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and add some seal to the back of this basic white piece. And then we're going to add it to our card front. Now this is going to go centered on that card front. So it's kind of deceiving because I've been like, you know, looking at the, the bits hanging off and then I find that I go low. So just kind of look at it before you commit to actually setting it down. Right. Um, oh, thank you, Shannon. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and fold and burnish. And Shannon, the exciting thing too is that um, pre-order for the new annual catalog starts next week and it's just a demonstrator. So if you do get the starter kit, you'll have access to that, which is exciting. Um, okay, so let's grab. So when I die cut these out, I put some adhesive sheets on the back of the things that I didn't want to add liquid glue to because, you know, that just makes a mess. So we made a sticker there out of this. And I'm just picking up this front crumb cake piece a little bit because we can stick that underneath and I'm just going to stick this shack down. You can see some of the adhesive sheet ended up on the back of the shack too. the back of the shack. We have to call it a shack. Sorry. <laughs> I'll never learn. <laughs> and we'll set that on top of our little um, supports or whatever you want to call it. So this one, you, you can see, I have this one a little bit lower so you can see the water through the window. Um, my sample card, I don't. So that's kind of up to you. You can do it however, or just have it be a happy accident. Okay, I have this little ramp now that I had an adhesive sheet on the back of, and we are going to stick that down onto our card as well. Okay, then we've got our life preserver, which I have adhesive sheet on, and I'm going to stick that down. And we've got our little flag, which does not have adhesive sheet, so I'm going to add just a little bit of seal on the flag there, and then we're going to stick that on our shack. Okay, now here's the thing. I always say stamp first, right, before you adhere we're going to stamp, but it's okay. Cause it's photopolymer. <laughs> um, oh, thanks Alicia. Um, yeah, I liked kind of the look of the overhang too. You know, I always like to add my mats. So, okay. We've got two little birds. I've got early espresso ink and I'm going to put my head over this. So I'm going to drag this down and I'm going to stamp the one that's kind of standing on top of our shack. And then we've got one that's flying. And the reason that, I mean, you could stamp the flying one before, but the reason I didn't want to stamp the other one is because I didn't want to commit to where I had to put the shack, right? And so I wanted to wait till I had that scene kind of built out. And these pieces wouldn't hurt it to have the extras there. So, um, okay, so we've got that. Let me pull in my silicone mat again here for the grasses, just because they are a little bit skinnier. And we're going to add some seal. Oh, I need some chapstick. My lips are dry. Anyway, okay, so I'm just adding some seal now. The seal did, you know, I don't know if you can see it shiny there, but it did kind of peek through. So I'm just going to drag it down with my fingers, and it's going to just kind of hide itself. And I'm going to stick one grass there. And yes, in this card, our grass and our water are the same color. <laughs> All right, stick another one down next to it. Grab this one here, and we're going to roll those and stick that one down at the edge of our ramp there. And then we can go ahead and add some dimensionals to the back of our sentiments. I do have some mini dimensionals here because they were trimmed down. Mini dimensionals are gonna really be my friend here so that I don't have to cut my regular sized ones. And I only have black mini dimensionals like in use currently. So that's what we're using. Peel off all those backings. And then we can go ahead and stick these down onto the card. So we've got wishing you a beautiful day. Oh, isn't that cute? All right, let's finish this one off with some cork rounds, some cork boards. Um, so I've got one big one, one little one, and then one more little one that I'm going to put up 
over there. Okay. All righty. That is our second card. I love how that one turned out too with all the die cut pieces. So that's number two. Let's go on to number three. Now this one is probably my favorite. I love this card and this one is cased directly out of the catalog. Case is uh, copy and selectively edit or copy and share everything. So in my case, I edited. So you can see this card right here was my inspiration. I changed some colors. I changed some of the look a little bit, but I love this card so much. So this is the one that we are going to do now card number three. So this one, you will have an Azure Afternoon card base. You'll have a basic white layer. You'll have an Azure Afternoon layer that um, I die cut out a circle from the Stylish Shapes. This is the second largest circle die from there. Okay, you'll have a basic white stylish circle for your sentiment. You'll have some crumb cake to die cut out again, a little sandy. So same thing here. I just used the one die and kept both pieces. Okay, and you'll also die cut out one I just, I just keep wanting to call these branches, <laughs> uh, tree trunk, palm tree, um, and a seashell. How cute is that? And then you'll have some balmy blue to die cut out the palm tree leaves there. And then some basic white scrap to stamp and die cut an umbrella and a chair and some linen thread. Oh. <laughs> okay. So let's start with stamping. We are going to make a fun background with this one, but let's start with, um, some other, with our, our easier stamping first. So we've got Sending Sunshine Your Way. And that is going to be stamped in early espresso ink onto our um, circle here. Okay, then we can close that up. And then I've got my Tuxedo Black Memento ink. Now we are going to color in our umbrella and our chair with our blends. So you are going, if you're going to use blends for coloring, you're going to want to have your Tuxedo Black ink for um, your stamping. So we are going to do the umbrella and the chair. Beautiful, close this up and then we can get those colored in real quick. So I am just gonna use my favorites, Calypso Coral and actually Balmy Blue because we're gonna match our palm tree there but um, usually I'm a pool party gal but we went Balmy Blue here. So I'm gonna use my dark Calypso Coral and I'm just gonna scribble on a little bit, okay. Then I'm going to come in with my light Calypso Coral and color in the rest of the umbrella here. So this one is super easy coloring because you just use one color on each thing. I mean, you could definitely make it more complex, but this one does not need to be difficult. Okay, and you can go back over it as many times as you want to help blend in that color, but I'm just going to say that's good. Good, it looks good to me. Okay, then I've got dark balmy blue and I'm going to do the same thing just scribble on the back of that chair there and grab my light balmy blue and color in the rest of the chair and don't forget over here beautiful just like that okay all right so then I'm just going to set these off to the side we are going to die cut those out but we'll do that in a second we are going to grab our azure afternoon piece we're going to grab our messy scrap paper the messier the better in my opinion you're scared of the coloring don't be scared it is um intimidating to start but once you start you're going to be hooked <laughs> all right so we are going to use I think it's six different stamps for the background so we've got Beach ball, grass, and sandcastle. Then I'm going to clean off a few that we've already used. So we've got the um, sandy and we've got both birds. Okay, so yes, six stamps for the background here. You can do more or less. You could emboss this back piece, whatever you want to do. But I am going to stamp my fun background. We are going to use Azure Afternoon ink on Azure Afternoon cardstock. I'm going to start with my sandcastle because it's... Um, one of the larger images. So I like to start with the larger image when I'm stamping a background. We're just gonna make this random, so just go wherever. Okay, and I am gonna set those off to the side. Um, and I like to start with the larger ones um, because, have you guys ever seen that thing? I think I've seen it on Facebook before, um, but it's like that professor had his students do that study or whatever, and it was like, if you fill like a jar with sand, then there's no more room for the rocks. But if you fill it with the rocks and then you like you're done, you filled it with the rocks, then you can fill it with pebbles and then like you can't anymore. And then you can fill it with sand. Does that make sense? Is my um, analogy <laughs> making sense? Anyway, so that's kind of my hypothesis here is you want to start with the larger images because you can always sneak in between with the smaller ones. Right. And just fill those empty spaces here. 
just stamp those stamp those stamp it down stamp those down okay all right so then we're gonna do some birds and I am having my background all go in one direction um, I'm having it you know all kind of face the same way that is totally up to you then we've got our little standing bird here and right there we'll fit one and then we'll finish it off with this little sandy bit because you can kind of sneak in anywhere like this little sand stamp you can kind of like this one you can kind of tilt a little bit to make it work if it stamps over something else it doesn't look bad <laughs> um, so you can just kind of sneak it in wherever you need to sneak this one in um, and again, just, you know, we're going to even go sideways there. Like nobody will know, right? Nobody's going to look and go, oh my gosh, she stamped her sand sideways. No. <laughs> You've seen that commercial. Yeah. Um, it, it Coloring with blends is addicting. I'm, yeah, 100%. <laughs> um, the more you try, the easier it gets. Absolutely. That's the truth with anything though too, right? Okay. So we've got all that stamped. We've got a fun little background there. Whoever gets this card, I... If it's one of you, I hope you write back to me and say, oh my gosh, you stamped your grass or your sand sideways. I can't believe you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway. Okay. So let's go ahead. We are going to adhere now. I've got the backside here and we're going to adhere our little sandy beaches. So I'm actually going to take the smaller one first. Now I'm flipping this upside down. Okay. We're going to add some over here on the sides as well. And make sure you cover that bottom here of our Piece. I know I've got it towards the top and just kind of place it wherever you want. Okay. Oh, I didn't even need that. Look at that. There's a small little teeny tiny gap and I don't want our basic white to cover or to show through. So I just moved that a smidge. Okay. Same thing. We've got our bigger one here. Just kind of lay that down so you can see we have kind of a fun little sandy hill and then we'll just use our snips, trim off any excess. And if you cut straight, you'll trim off all the excess. Um, <laughs> yes, Lene says so she has many lake beaches in Wisconsin. I agree. And I have not tried paddle boarding, but I so want to. So that's a goal of mine this summer. Um, also, what's really fun is I have always kind of like, I mean, I've played tennis in like gym class, but not, you know, just go into a tennis court and my nephew really wants to play tennis this summer and I was like this is the best thing because I can go play with him <laughs> he's only six but he's actually really good so you can't like tell that he's six he's he loves sports he's good at like almost every sport he tries so um because he tries which is nice he's he's not like oh I didn't make the basket I'm done no he just keeps going and I love that about him um okay so I am just layering this then on my basic white base basic white layer. Okay. Add some seal to the back of that basic white layer and we'll put this on our card front. Beautiful. Go ahead and fold and burnish our card front. I always like to burnish my card front after I have something on the front that tells me the direction it goes. That's total personal preference there, by the way. Um, I just don't want an upside down card. <laughs> oh, you can surf on Lake Michigan in Sheboygan. Okay. That's good to know. I forget who asked it. Was that Debbie who asked that? Now we know. Um, okay. So I'm adding a little bit of seal here on the back of one of our palm tree. Whoops. And I'm going to drop it and we're going to stick that down. Okay. Flip that over again, put some seal on the back and then we'll put our branch, AKA, you know, trunk, whatever we're calling it. Oh, that was, did you see me? I almost glued it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would have looked a little silly. Okay. Anyway, we've got that added. Add some seal to the back of some more leaves here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this and I'm going to sneak this up if I can. Now you may have put seal here and that's okay. But if I can, I'm just going to, you see how that's kind of sliding in? I think that looks kind of neat. I have some seal exposed here. There we go. And then I'm just going to glue that down. And so it's kind of poking out of the frame, which I think looks really neat. Okay. We need to die cut these real quick because I kind of forgot about that. All right. So we've got our post-it note tape here and let me grab my dies. Here's my umbrella and here's my chair. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get those dies on. And same thing here with this one, the chair. I feel like I said chair funny. Cheer. 
a chair that sounds so Minnesotan, you know. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got that, and then we'll die cut these out. Um, your cousin was in Duluth. Oh, you she saw surfers on Lake Superior. I wonder if it's like a different kind of surfing. Is it like wind surfing? I don't know. I don't know enough about, um, yeah, it would have been a scared palm tree. I don't know enough about surfing to know. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, it is such a fun set. I agree. It is so cool. And I'm so sorry to jinx us all with snow because I decided to use this set this week. Um, not all of us. We don't all have snow. Uh, one of my, uh, followers on Instagram, said, could you please send your snow to me? I want it. And I said, you can have it. After Valentine's Day, I don't want it. <laughs> all right. So we've got these all die cut now. We can go ahead. I'm going to add a dimensional on the back of each. Okay. And we'll just do one, probably. I think that's sufficient. Okay. And then we can stick our umbrella down because, you know, the sun's coming and that palm tree just does not cover all that shade you need. Okay. It does not provide all the shade. Okay, so we've got that. Then I'm going to take my sentiment here and add some seal to the back. And then I'm going to lay this over here on the right-hand side. Okay, then we've got our linen thread. We're going to make a faux bow. So I'm going to add a little bit of seal right here on that beach ball, actually, right under that sentiment. Okay, and I'm just kind of uh, straightening out my linen thread here a little bit. And I'm going to take both of the ends and meet them in one one hand, right, in my left hand. Take that loop halfway through and stick that down. And then we're just gonna loop it back across like that. And then nobody knows that we didn't actually tie the bow. <laughs> All right, one dimensional here on my seashell. Peel off the backing and then we're gonna stick that on top of the linen thread so that we hide any of that exposed adhesive. And finish this one off with some pork rinds. I mean cork boards. I mean cork rounds. <laughs> we just have to have some fun. All right. So we've got one big one, one little one, and one little one over there. And that is our third card. How fun is that one? I love this card so much. You could switch up the color, but I think Azure Afternoon is such a fun beach color. Um, okay. So here is our final card. This one is so fun. We're going to do um, some blending with some blending brushes. And it's going to be really fun. I think this is actually the first card I made with this set. Um, and I just love it so much. So this last card here, we've got a crumb cake card base. We've got a balmy blue layer. <coughs> Excuse me. We've got a basic white layer. We've got a piece of basic white. This is going to be for our stamping and our die cutting. We've got a square die cut from the stylish shape dies here. Um, and we've got some balmy blue. Actually, let me set this one over here. Can you tell when I do this, my stuff to the right is the stuff that needs to be like done with, fancied up. I don't know. <laughs> balmy blue for our surfboard and a strip of crumb cake for our sentiment. So let's start. Let's start with the easier stuff, I suppose. Grab, um, I'm going to grab my early espresso ink and my crumb cake strip. And we're going to use the last sentiment in this set that we haven't used yet, which says enjoy today. Now, this strip is a little bit longer than I want it to be. So I'm going to stamp that off to one side. And then we're just going to use our snips to just trim that down. And you know what? I might even maybe take my paper trimmer to really make that skinny. To be determined. We'll see. Um, oh, thank you, everyone. All right. So closing up early espresso then, let's go ahead and we're going to grab our balmy blue ink pad and our balmy blue piece of cardstock here. I am going to grab my chamois because the last color we used our surfboard in, I believe was melon mambo. And I do not want melon mambo ink in my balmy blue ink pad. So um, we're going to ink that up. Okay. And then we'll stamp that down and we will die cut that when we're ready. Okay. Close up balmy blue. And yeah, that's where that goes. Okay. We've got that. And then we've got our basic white scrap here. And we've got our shack, <laughs> our lifeguard tower, lookout tower, whatever you want to call it. And I've got my tuxedo black memento ink pad. And we're going to ink up our lookout tower. Okay. And stamp this onto our basic white. Beautiful. I'm going to let it sit and marinate for a second. And I'm going to grab 
my sand castle, which we last used in Azure Afternoon. So I'm just cleaning it quick, kind of off camera. I'm going to need a wider lens here. I just have so much going on that I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not in frame. <laughs> All right. So we've got that stamped. Beautiful. And then we'll grab our um, sand castle and stamp that down as well. Okay. All right. Close up tuxedo black memento. We're going to save the magic for like a little bit later. Oh, just a little bit. Okay, then we're going to color with blend. So we're going to use crumb cake and petal pink and then the two colors we already used, which were balmy blue and calypso coral. Okay, so I'm going to start with petal pink. I always like to start with my darks. Um, personally, I like to start with the darks when I blend and we're going to do the actual like house shack thing in petal pink. Okay, so there's the dark. Then I'm just going to go back in and color the rest of that shack with my light petal pink. And color, color, color. Yeah, are you guys beachy people? I, um, yeah, like I said before, I'm excited to go visit a beach. Well, I've been, I've been to the beach. <laughs> I just haven't been on a beach vacation. So I am excited to go on like a tropical vacation although I know it's going to be humid there and that you guys you're going to see pictures of me and my hair is going to go <laughs> all right there's petal pink let's go calypso coral and next um uh you could make it into a fire lookout tower in a forest absolutely and um Debbie I'm going to challenge you to do it <laughs> um I don't know I could maybe maybe uh, but that's a really great idea. So if somebody wants to do that, that would be fun to see. You can share it in my Facebook group. Okay, so we've got dark Calypso Coral here. You can see I scribbled a little bit on the roof. And then I'm just going to go around the window and the door frame with my dark Calypso Coral. The nice thing about Stampin' Blends, too, is they're very forgiving. You can see that you can use them just with the one color. So I just used dark there on the frame. Um, but then when you go back in with your light, all I do is I color in a circle and because they're alcohol based, they just blend together. I mean, don't like color in the dark and then let it sit for, you know, six days. Cause, then... um, but it's really, they're very forgiving and they're very easy to learn how to use. Oh, you can't, why did it do that again? I'm so sorry. I don't know why it keeps doing that. <laughs> <laughs> a tree fort would be really cute. I know. Now I have lots of ideas. Um, okay, so then we're going to grab um, crumb cake. And I'm just going to like, you know, kind of scribble a little bit here on these posts. And our little wooden stand thing. Okay. And then go back in with the light. Oh, you know what? I forgot about my sand castle. We'll have to pull that dark, dark crumb cake back in. Anyway. Okay, so we'll just color in this. The nice thing about the blends, too, is they do spread a little bit. So you actually don't need to go right up against, like, the edge of where you stamped. Because it'll probably, like, just blend right into it. Which is nice. All right, coloring that, and then there's a little rail in the life preserver there. And there's that, and then we'll do our sandcastle real quick with our crumb cake. So I'm going to bring my dark back in, and look, I'm literally going to just scribble. <laughs> uh, scribble. You love an ocean beach, but you're not a beach sitter. Yes. I think that's my problem too. Even when I watch TV, I always have to be doing something, which is usually stamping. <laughs> um, yeah. Or writing out cards or yeah. I am not good at sitting still either. I always, I just like to be doing. Um, anyway. Okay. So then we've got our balmy blue. We're going to do this flag up here. We're going to do the little windows. Now here's kind of the funny thing. We're going to color in this window too, but it gets die cut. You'll see. So you don't have to like go really crazy. Shannon, that window right there would be good to practice on because when you die cut it, it gets cut out. <laughs> um, and then we'll just color in that life preserver there and finish up with the light balmy blue. 
Okay. And there we go. And then, like I said, this window kind of gets die cut out. But you can see like the edges of it. I'll show you when we die cut it. You can still kind of see the edges. So I still thought for me it was important to um, still, you know, color it in. So, all right, we've got our shack <laughs> and our sand castle. We've got to die cut these out. Okay, grab my post-it note tape again. And we'll line up our shack first. Beautiful. There we go. And then do our sand castle. And I totally forgot to color in the shovel, but in my sample, I colored it in with balmy blue. It's so small, you can't really tell. So um, you're watching on a phone and looking at the catalog on my computer. That's the way to do it. Yes, that is absolutely the way to do it. All right, so let's go ahead and die cut these out. I know my my nephew cracks me up because he came into my they were here yesterday for a snow day and for my day job when I work from home I have three computer screens and I use all three of them which is kind of bizarre to me because at my old job um, I only used my laptop and now I use a laptop and two screens <laughs> so I'm kind of like that's so bizarre I thought it would be so weird to have to like use all these screens and now I can't imagine. Um, I cannot imagine not using all the screens. Anyway, so it's funny because devices. So he was like, Auntie, why do you have five computers in here? And I was like, well, because three belong to my workplace and two belong to me. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, I'm constant. Oh, I forgot to die cut this. That's okay. <clears throat> One of you was probably like, Melissa. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so it's just funny to me, whatever. I'm always doing things on multiple screens, so I get it. I even have two screens going. Actually, I have three screens going right now. I have a phone that's filming my hands, a phone. They're not active phones anymore, but phone on my hands, a phone on my face. My actual phone is sitting over there, the one that I use. And then I have my laptop up there, which is running like the admin sort of stuff. So, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you use a laptop and two 17 inch screens for work too. I know it's just so nice. And my boss is so funny because he said he uses his laptop in one screen. And I was like, well, I'd take your other screen. And he was like, no, <laughs> I said, I can't believe you don't use all three. I mean, I was joking. I don't even have room for four. I do not have room for four screens on my work desk. <laughs> Um, but it is nice. It is nice. Okay. So we've got all the things die cut. Now we're going to make a pretty scene. Okay. So I'm going to grab my messy scrap paper. Are you guys ready to do some blending? It's going to be super duper fun. We're going to start with melon mambo ink. Now you tell me, do you want this to be a sunrise or a sunset? Then I've got my pink blending brush. This is the color I use on all the pinks, which really we only have like melon mambo. That's kind of this hot pink, uh, still. But when we had like polished pink, I'd use it on there, um, you know. Okay, so we're just going to blend on that color. So you can see I just wiped it up onto my blending brush from the ink pad. Um, if I had stuff ready to clean my glass mat, I would actually just dip my dip it onto my glass mat. That actually works really, really nice for blending. Um, but I don't have anything to clean it up and I don't want it all over the rest of my project. So this is the way we're going. And I am just blending and you can see I'm stopping a little bit up from the bottom here or from the left hand side because we are going to add, whoops, we are going to add some orange with pumpkin pie. So we'll close this guy up. By the way, we have a new in color coming called peach pie. And you guys know we're gonna have to do something with pumpkin pie, peach pie and pecan pie. We're just gonna have to, cause it's just kind of like we have to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, grab some pumpkin pie ink on my orange blending brush. And I flipped my square around and we're just going to go ahead and blend this on. Now, don't be afraid to push it up into the pink a little bit because we want the colors to blend. You don't want to have two stark lines or a stark line, I should say, of the two colors, right? You want them to blend together. We've got a sunset going on here. You can tell I would, I, I like to believe that I'm a morning person, but I don't know that I am. <laughs> um, sunsets are your favorite in the Gulf Shores. Oh, sunsets and sunrise. Jolene says sunrise, so she has a full day in the sun. I know, I like to believe I'm a sunrise person, but 
for the last four years, I am just amazed at myself when I can get out of bed on time. <laughs> All right, I'm going to add some seal to the back of our square here. And then we are going to add that to our basic white layer. Now I am going to just make kind of an, you know, I'm going to actually push it in a little bit. So it's not quite center, but we have a little bit of a wider margin here on the right. Okay, and then we'll just add some seal to the back of our basic white piece and layer this onto our balmy blue. Beautiful. Now you could also do like a masking technique with that square, um, but that was a little bit more complicated than I wanted to do. So I just chose to use a die cut. So, um, oh, my sister said sunset. Yeah. All right, then we'll layer this onto our card front and go ahead and fold and burnish our card front or our card base. Okay, I love crumb cake too as a beach color. It's such a fun, fun color for the beach. Okay, then we'll add some dimensionals to the back of our shack slash lookout tower. Okay, mm, that's probably good. And then I'm going to add a dimensional to the back of our sand castle. Okay, we can peel off all these backings here. And we will go ahead and add this die cut down. Now I am going to sneak it over to the right a little bit. The ramp is going to come off of our square and that's just fine. Okay. And then I'm going to add some seal to the back of our surfboard just like that. And we're going to sneak this one in, kind of tuck it under our shack a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to grab that sand castle and stick that on the bottom. How fun is that? Now for this guy, I definitely think I want that trimmed down a little bit more. So I am gonna use my trimmer because I do not trust myself to use my scissors to cut that. Um, if you have a very steady hand, you could just use your scissors, but I'm just gonna trim it with my trimmer. And you can see I'm just lining it up here. And then when you set it down, I'm just making sure that none of the words are in that little, uh, like the little slit there, the clear the clear piece there. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over my sentiment. I'm going to grab my mini dimensionals again, and we are going to use four and you might be like, what, where are you going to put them? Um, yeah, you'll see. Okay. We're going to put one in the middle and then one on each side, peel off the backing of the one in the middle and put another one on top of it. So we're double stacking the middle, peel off all the backings, and then we're gonna stick this down because the left and right sides are gonna lie on our tower, which is already on dimensionals. And the center is gonna go in between, which is not. Oh my gosh, why does my phone keep doing that? That is so weird. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, so there's that. Then we just have to finish off with some embellishments here, some cork, some cork boards. We've got a big one there. We're gonna take a little one right there. And then I'm actually going to take another one of the larger ones and watch. I'm going to go like this. Oh, did that move? Oh, look at that. It didn't even stick. That was funny. I guess I didn't push it down. Um, <laughs> all right. I'm going to go do, 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 do. And I drew a line. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and that is our final card. How fun is that one too? I love all of these cards. I think they are so fun. So beautiful. And just, we're ready for summer, even though we got snow outside, which might be my fault for picking a summer set. Um, <laughs> we have got some beautiful summer cards to cheer us up, or more importantly, cheer up your recipient, right? Um, so Joanne, you're still on live. You will, um, you'll have to go back and watch the replay, but I am still live. So you're watching me now. Um, so that is our uh, live for this week. Um, as a reminder, if you would like the card kits to make all of these at home, I do offer them as a gift from me. So if you place an order um, in my online store through this Friday, March 29th, by the end of the day, so like 11.59 p.m. CDT, um, I $40 order before tax and shipping, I will send you the card kits to make one of each of these four cards for free from me. If you go over $50 before tax and shipping, I will also send you a full pack of the cork round embellishments to use on all four of the cards. Um, they are super fun, super beautiful. These will then ship out on Tuesday, April 2nd to you. Uh, PDF would come out uh, that same day or when you get your um, kit, there will be a QR code that you can scan for the PDF. Um, let's see. Oh, and you do need to make sure you use my current host code. So you can see it on the screen here, MMFQWE9P. You do not need to memorize that. 
if you click the link in the description of this video, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, it will have that code tied into it already. So when you click on that, you go to my online store, add whatever you want into your cart, and that will that code will already be there. If your order goes over $150, go ahead and take that code out. You're going to get Stampin' Rewards from Stampin' Up, which is free product, starting at $15 for free, which is awesome. Um, so you can take that code out and enjoy those rewards, and I'll still send you the class, okay? All right. If you liked tonight's class, I would love if you could share this video. That really helps me out too. And go ahead. If you're on YouTube, give me a big thumbs up. If you're on Facebook, of course, I want a heart. <laughs> um, and I think that's it. Um, I hope you guys all have a very lovely Easter. Celebrate the reason for the season. He is risen and uh, I will see you next week. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you then. Bye for now.